Hey guys, what's been this video? I want to talk why the Android L beta on the Nexus 5 sucks. The reason why you shouldn't be installing it on your device. Uh, so, let's start off the first and the only and the foremost reason that I don't like the Android L beta is the apps, apps and their optimization. So, uh, let's say if you play a lot of games, like you know, if you play games like GTA San Andreas, Asphalt 8 and all those kind of games, they will not work on Android L beta because it's a beta version and they are not working. I've tried out a lot of games. Only Dead Trigger 2 and Amazing Spider-Man 2 is working. And Mortal Kombat 4 is not working. GTA Center is not working. They should have to the developers have to update their apps for the new Android L in order the app, in order to make the apps work on the new Android L beta. So other than that, the Android L beta will give you some new touch and you know new taste of the next version of the Android, but still it will not uh, that much kind of you know suitable for daily use and uh, you can't even use Facebook properly I have been facing a lot of um, a lot of uh, you know shuttering in Facebook the app just force closes itself and also I can't comment I can't uh, you know reply to some messages it's just, it's, it's sometimes it's, it doesn't show some messages and also sometimes Google now doesn't work. There's also some issue. Uh, other than that, uh, the apps are the main issue. Uh, most of the apps are not optimized uh, on the Play Store. If you you know try to download those apps, it will say that it, this app is not optimized for your version. So I'm not saying uh, you know uh, that Android L beta sucks very hard, but I'm just saying that it is not suitable for daily usage because most of the apps, most of the apps will not work. But if you are okay with just messaging and you know using some general Wi-Fi and all this kind of stuff, not playing games, then it's okay to install Android Beta. Uh, but I should uh, say you must have, uh, you must wait uh, until uh, they will release a stable version. Uh, uh, you know, if you if can if you avoid games, then you can install the Android Beta. You can use it without any kind of problem. The battery life is actually better on the beta version than the KitKat. Um, but still, uh, and the speed is also good, but still, if you don't want uh, to, you know, use your device as a daily, as a phone, you want to play games, if you play games and, you know, use a lot of apps, uh, like Hotspot Shield and all this kind of stuff, uh, that won't work on the NRL beta, uh, sadly. So, you got to wait for the official uh, stable release. So, just a quick little video and my thoughts about why the NRL beta sucks, for me at least. So, like this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.